in one week, the Des Moines Children's Museum will be hosting a special opportunity for sensory sensitive kids as well as their families to enjoy the museum. Joining us now to talk all about this is Christine Wyland and uh, Julie Burnett. They're both from the Des Moines Children's Museum. So ladies, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Let's just get started by talking about what is this sensory sensitive play date? So, the Children's Museum had over 65,000 people come through our doors last year alone, which means it's very busy and loud and it's a lot of fun. And we really knew that we needed to have a special place, though, for other families that could become overwhelmed with that many people coming through. And so that's kind of where this has come from. So yeah, talk a little bit about then, we know that there's so many kids through the doors. It's a fun atmosphere, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of activities, but you want it to be so that it's for everyone. Yeah, so we try to do our best by reducing um, the different sounds throughout the museum. We also have a quiet area, so it's dark in room area. Um, we have a yoga ball, we have a tunnel, we have different fidgets, things like that to help um, kiddos or individuals be able to calm down if they need to, but we also have some tactile bins too for kiddos to be able to play. You were saying that this is something that you've been doing somewhat recently. It's a new addition to the Children's Museum. Yeah, absolutely. We always want to do things like this, and it definitely is one of those things that we're just kind of chipping away at our to-do list, like this is a need, we know it's a need, we need to make sure we're serving the community. Uh, so what has been the response then to some parents? Obviously kids love mm -hmm. outings as well, and parents love those outings so their kids can run around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been great just seeing the smiles on all the kids, the parents. Um, it's been fun for me to just see the parents talk to other parents and then also having the siblings be able to talk and play with other siblings and also their own sibling that might be sensitive to different um, sensory input. So it's been awesome just to see. Right, I know, that's what you were talking about. Just it would be all kids then. Mm -hmm. We're not just talking about that it's just for kids who have sensory no. sensitive issues. No, definitely for like their families and stuff. Yep. So it's we're not like turning people away when they come to the door. It is a short event, so it's only from 5 to 6.30, the fourth Friday of each month. And it's one of those times that like, if your child has trouble transitioning to like go home and stuff, that's okay. That's why we're having this. Yeah. You could have a crazy meltdown and it's like, we're like, thank you for coming. We're so happy, take your time. Sure. And we so. also have um, communication boards. So if any kiddos need that to use to help with the transitions, we have that available. We also have sensory bags too, to help with transitions. Um, soon we're gonna have some social stories uploaded too. So on our website for easier transitions. Uh, so talking a little bit about then the Children's Museum as a whole, I mean, tens of thousands of kids coming through the door. You're doing a great service in the community. Um, and you want me to talk more about <laughs> how well, just the Children's is. Museum, right? I mean, you said you were yeah. uh, you're both on the board, yes. you're a co-founder. I yeah. mean, that's a lot of work that we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, we're getting close to six years old as a museum, and it's just, it's, it's amazing. Every time you go in, kids are having fun, parents are connecting with their kids, they're connecting to other parents, and we just finished up some new strategic planning in the fall, and so we're just gonna be having tons of things coming out where, you know, trying to connect parents with other parents. Because being a parent, especially early years, can be pretty isolating, and you know, and having different activities that we're going on to the community with. That is one thing that I, you just talk about, even just the parents. You say a children's museum. Well, automatically you just think mm -hmm. it's it's for children. Yep. <laughs> but the parents are the ones that right. take the kids, and they're <laughs> the ones feeding the kids and taking care of the kids. So really it is about those special caregivers that are bringing those special children. Like, you know, whether it's that you're a nanny, we get grandparents, we get aunts, we get uncles. We actually keep our admission extremely low. So it is $6 for children and free for adults, we really want that to be one of those things that the mom comes and the dad and the aunt. And the you whole know, family, mm -hmm. the more the merrier. So tell me where you're located and then let's give people the information about this specific sensory mm -hmm. play date. Yeah, so we are located at Valley West Mall um, on the bottom floor. And then I'll let you explain more of the specifics of it, but um, it's right by the old Yonkers. Yeah, we're on the bottom floor, Suite 108. And we have hours Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 4.30. We do stay open late on Wednesday because we think it's so important. Everyone has different working schedules, so we're open until 6.30 then. And Saturdays, 10 to 5. And then Sundays, we mostly have private parties. We also have other events throughout the month, too, various ones, um, like our Try Friday events. Too. Yeah. So we're going to head over to Try Friday. Every third Friday of the month, we do something different. We've had the Iowa Wolves come out and hang out with us one wow. time. 
we've had um, we had our glow Easter egg mm -hmm. hunt last Friday, like last month Friday. It was very cool. Um, so you're staying busy. We know yeah. where to find you. And thanks for telling us about this relatively new event mm -hmm. over at the Children's Museum. Thank All you right. for having us. Thank you. Thanks, ladies. Uh, yeah, looking for some indoor activities for sure, Jerrianne and Lindsay.